you know, a lot of people you might think the Theravox is kind of something to use as like an ethereal type of texture. But this kind of proves that it can be used as a real arranging tool, you know. So we are at Greylock Records in Brooklyn, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And you are? And I'm Ben Talmy. I really got into synthesis probably when I first got a Moog Lil Fatty back in probably 2010 or so. That was your first synth? That was my first synth. That was my first analog synth. Yeah. First real hardware synth. The Juno is classic. I mean, it's just like the same reason why you choose a Moog bass sound instead of a real bass sound sometimes, or a Moog lead instead of a, you know, whatever other kind of lead. It's just, uh, these are just palettes, you know? Just textures you can choose. This is the live room, as you can see, and all three rooms are patched in here. So it's kind of a unique setup, I guess. We have three control rooms patched into this one live room. And it works out great, you know? It allows us to have this big, beautiful space. I was searching for a company that made a modern version of the on Martineau and so I was kind of I kind of before it came before I'd ever really touched one I, I knew what I was getting into a little bit but I was pleased to find that the learning curve was really fast really really fast mastering being you know having good technique and having good uh, really having good control of the pitch and kind of tone like you would like a violin or something like that, I think that's a, that continues to grow as you use it like any instrument. 